Hi guys and welcome to the Sunderland vs Warsaw match review on what an amazing result that was. But before we do get into the review guys, I just need to play some record. A massive, massive thank you. <clears throat> Sorry. A massive thank you for uh, the response to yesterday's video. It really means the absolute world. It was absolutely awesome. Um, so yeah, I really, really appreciate that. Um, but going in to this review, so we went in uh, the game against Warsaw. We had McLaughlin in goal. We had uh, Matthews at left back, we had Baldwin and uh, Flanagan playing as the centre backs, which is the partnership that I prefer the most, to be honest with you. And 09 as right back, we had Katz and Ledbetter in the middle. Uh, then we had Morgan, McGeady, and uh, we also had Power behind uh, Grigg up top. So we got the game kicked off. And it was an absolutely shocking start to the game. We came out, and I thought to myself, because obviously we desperately, desperately needed the win today, uh, because last night, um, Barnsley dropped points against Doncaster, drawing nil-nil, which obviously left us with two games in hand over them, and uh, I think only four points behind, if I remember correctly. So obviously with a couple of wins in those game in hand, we could jump into the automatic places. So that would leave it in our hands now to try and get to those automatic places. So I thought that we'd come out absolutely flying, to be honest with you, you know, really in the faces. And we were the absolute opposite. It was awful. If anything, it was, it was Walsall who come out flying. I know they're, in a, they're a lot lower down in the league, so they have their own battles to play for. But we come out and we really, really look poor. Walsall come out flying. They got a free kick really early on. And defensively, it, the way they defended the free kick was so, so poor. It was just played in so calmly. It just drifted in about sort of mid-range. And uh, one of their uh, their players, I forget the name, it escapes me, but he literally just walked across our body of players slowly, you know, just slowly sort of jogged across and managed to get a flick in to put it into the back of the net. And it was just absolutely awful. The worst start we could have possibly hoped for. But if anything, I think that kicked us into life. I don't think we played particularly well uh, for that first half. We I think we were quite comfortable somewhat, but a lot of our chances were coming from sort of lead bitter set pieces which is you know it's a big big weapon in our armory that because he is he has got a fantastic set piece on him that caused all kinds of problems we did have several chances um a couple of them uh the keeper had to make a really good save a couple of headers that were just over the bar from corners and i could just feel that we were going to score but it was just a case of when but eventually it was that man lee catamol who you know apparently he hadn't scored at the stage of my light in you know, his entire Sunderland career now he's got three in a matter of, you know, a few weeks at the stage of my life, which is absolutely mad. Ball whipped and it does eventually find Katz at the back post. He chests it. I'm not too sure whether it'll end up being awarded to him um, because it was a bit of a scramble. It was a really tight angle. It did fall to him. He chested it and kind of tried to put it back in to the mixer and it somehow found its way into the near post and, and gone in. So I'm not too sure whether it did come off another Walsall body potentially or who it has been awarded to, but I'll give it to Katz anyway. I love Katz, so he can have that one. So it went into half time, and I was hoping that we did manage to get the second goal before half time because I thought it's going to give Walsall a chance to regroup because we were flying towards the back end of that first half, and I think we were playing really, really well uh, defensively. Again, we did look a little bit, um, you know, a little bit shaky. Baldwin and Flanagan, like I say, they are my favourite centre back partnership, uh, but I think at times Matthews, I think, had a pretty poor game. He was getting beaten every time. He's very, very one footed. Um, it would have been nice to see Hume start the game. 0-9 on the right-hand side. I think eventually he came into the game and he was very good. But I think the opening sort of 10-15 minutes for 0-9, he, he was quite poor. He was getting beaten quite easily and he was giving the ball away constantly every time he got the ball. But he did bring himself back into the game, which I do appreciate. And he ended up having a very good game. But we do go into the second half and it was all us. It, it was all us. We weren't making you know chance after chance after chance. But again, we looked very comfortable. Walsall didn't look too threatening. We were making chances of our own, but they were all just sort of half chances from corners and set pieces again. And then Jack Ross finally decides to make an early substitute decision because I think he's probably guilty of making his changes a little bit too late in previous games. But in this one, he uh, he brought off uh, he brought off Katz and brought on Gooch, which of course sees Gooch go over to the right hand side and power drop back into the middle with Lebitzer. That helped us for a little bit, changed it up a. Uh, changed it up a bit in across the midfield as well. Changed the game up, and it was it, it, we were still making chances, but still weren't quite there. He also brought Matthews off, and uh, Hume 
come on, which was really nice to see Hume get back in the squad. He looked all right. Uh, give away a couple of little fouls here and there. Uh, but I think he looked okay. Didn't look too out of place. Um, and then White came on, which I know a lot of people sort of like, oh, God, here we go. He's gonna, he's meant to be our saving grace. White, he wasn't had the greatest start to his Sunderland career. Uh, but Morgan come off and let White come on, like I said. And with his first touch of the game, the ball was put into White. I can't decide for the life of me, whether it was actually just a really poor first touch or it was a fantastic genius flick on to Grigg. It was um, put into Wyke, so he had his back to goal and it, like I say, his first touch or a pass either way. It fell back to Grigg on the edge, he took a touch. I honestly thought he should have given it across to McGeady who was in acres of space on the left, but he goes for himself, Grigg, and drags it into that bottom right-hand corner and it, it, the whole stadium uh, singing, Will Griggs on fire, which, you know, we're just waiting for that. We're absolutely waiting for that. And I'm really, really, really rooting for Grigg because I think we went with two up top when White come on. And it does help him a lot, as you can tell, because White, of all players, set him up. It, um, you know, he caused a bit of chaos when he did come on, which uh, was really good to see as well. I, I do want to see White do well. And it was nice for him to pick up an assist. And uh, Grigg as well is... At times, I think to myself, he, he must regret signing for us because all we've done is play hoof at fo football since he's signed and he's it, it just so isolated up top. Uh, we did manage to see it out. Towards the last sort of five minutes or so, Walsall did have a chance of their own where McLaughlin, for the millionth time this season, saved our arses. So Walsall did put us under a lot of pressure towards the last sort of five minutes or so. But we did manage to weather the storm and we see it out and win the game 2-1, which is such a crucial win. We're now just... Uh, I think it's two points behind Barnsley, if I just check, I don't want to be wrong. Yes, we are now two points behind Barnsley with a game in hand. So we are not playing now up until the uh, the Czech Trade Trophy final. So there's going to be games in hand all over the shot. And our next month it is absolute hell. I think we have seven or eight games in one month. So it's going to be a really, really testing month. But there's going to be so many points and games to play for. Uh, so hopefully we do continue like this. I don't know whether Ross in the end will stick two up top for, you know, sort of the foreseeable future because it just looked like it helped Drug out so much. It really, really did. But I, I don't really like this 4 2 3 1. I, I don't think it works. I, I think uh, we're a little bit too static off the ball for that. I think if we are going to play some kind of hoofy football, which to be fair, we didn't really play today, um, we just still didn't get Grig in the game as much as I would have liked, but we were making chances. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think the 4-2-3-1 particularly works. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of it really anymore. Um, I'd like to see two up top, regardless of what formation it is. I want to see two up top. I, need, I want to see Grigg get some help because we saw what happened today. The second you get it into his feet, he's going to bag you a goal. That's what Grigg's all about. So, uh, so yeah, anyway, I'm really, really pleased with the performance or with the results, should I say. Performance was okay. It weren't too bad at all. I'm not going to scream and shout about it. It was all right. Um, but yeah, I just want to see more of the same. And uh Hopefully now in the next game, we put our hands on some silverware against Portsmouth in the Czech Trade Trophy Final. But anyway, that'll be it, guys. Really, really good result today. If you have enjoyed the video, please hit the like button for me. It'd be massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully-fledged member of the Sarni Army. But for now, you take care and stay jamming.